Welcome back to What RT Noobs with Channel Disturbance. This is a PP La Pew Pew, the 105 Le FH 18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG, and we're located on the south spawn of Wide Park under the command of Fork U2. Yes, it's one of my replays yet again, uh, but this time I'm in the Fifi or Lefi as some people call it. 105mm armed based on the chassis of the Char B1 tank, which of course the Germans took over and they called it the Char B2, or rather the Panzer B2. Okay, I've gone to the back of the map and I've found a nice little firing position and I'm looking for the enemy. And not a very good firing position this one, but I did see an AMX CLC pop up there. Buildings are getting in the way, but I can see a 25TP dialed in on him and the round hits my side of the railway tracks, so I almost took out my own teammate there, but I can see an ARL poking his way through that window. It's pulled back, I fire around in, it goes through the window, but doesn't do any damage. But no, there's an AMX ELC, hasn't moved at all, he may be AFK, and now he's dead. Well, if he does log into the game, he'll find his tank has been turned into a wreck. I fire one round at the ARL, but... Oh! We've got an AMX 13AM there. I'm dialing in on the position. That looks good. Round out. And I've killed the AMX 13AM. Now, the other tank... There is an AMX 13F3. That's the tier 6 French SPG. I'm dialing in on him. Round out. And I've just killed him too! So I've killed both of the enemy arty in a matter of seconds. So that's a counter battery medal. Right, I've got a Panzer T25 and a Leopard. I'm dying him on the Leopard, I'm firing around him. Oh, massive hit! I left him on three hit points, would you believe it? And my teammate takes him out, the S35CA. Now, I fired a round in too hasty there on a the BK, but didn't get a hit. Okay, I've got a P43 Biz, fire around in him. Oh, I got a fire! He's on fire! He's burning! I'm about to shoot another one at him. Oh no, he pulls away. He's smart enough to realise that position is compromised. Okay, now, we're one tank ahead at the moment. We've got a 25 TP on our side of the lines. And he's coming down. He's just ram-killed our M44. And I hope oh, he's been killed himself. There's a Panzer T25 at the other end. Fire around at him. Get a hit! 105 hit points. He's going in. The Panzer 4H is there. He's just taken out the Panzer 4H. I fire another round in. Get a big hit for 142, and the AMX takes care of him. So, right now, after all that action, I've got three kills now, so I'm the high scorer so far on my team. I'm moving to a new firing position because I can't really hit some of those tanks behind that building. So hopefully, now that there's no enemy RT, it doesn't matter if I get seen by the enemy, the enemy RT's not going to be able to do anything about it because they're no longer alive. Round out on the OI, gets a hit, 105. Now I can keep this up all day because an OI is a juicy piñata for me. And 506 hit points, actually I only pick up 124 from that. Round out again, oh, hit the railway tracks, but the OI is down. There are only four enemy tanks there. T-34, I fire around in, hits the railway tracks again. He's moving too quickly, but he's dead. Now, there's a, that P-43 biz, and I can't get a shot on him now. That shell went right over the top of him. He's pulling back, and that building's in the way. I'm going to have to move. I need to get closer to the enemy. Now, it just so happens it was a good job that I did move, because there is an enemy tank nearby. Right, P43, can't get a shot on him, just the other side of the railway tracks, try a shot there but that failed, yes there's an S35 off to the, uh, to the east and I didn't spot him, he fired at me, he obviously saw me, I've got no sixth sense on this vehicle yet, I'm actually training the crew up, but obviously we're now going to head for my teammates, because that S35 is a nasty tank destroyer. I don't really want him to get a shot at me if I can help it. And the closer I am to them, the less likely that they're going to engage me, the more likely they're going to engage my teammates. Okay, the S35 is behind me. Now I can turn to shoot at him now. But I'm still running for cover. 
Okay, now this is a good position. I can just move up a bit and get a shot on him from a different angle. He's just put a shot into that T67. Who's AFK. I can't shoot him from this angle. The Matilda's moving up. Oh, he's just killed the 267. And the Matilda's just killed him. There's the last remaining enemy, so ARL. The one I fired at earlier in the game, and he's just been killed, so... It's actually the ARL V39, sorry. And the game's over. It was very, very quick. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats and see how we ended up. And it's the first class tanker for Fork U2 in the uh, 105 FH 18B2. I'm afraid the jokes are very bad. Fork U2. Yes. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I also managed to get a counter battery medal because I took out both of the enemy RT. I miss, must admit, one of them was AFK. The other one was actually active. Um, the AMX 13 AM and the AMX 13 F3. I also got a bruise medal for getting these five critical hits. I got nine. And I managed to pick up the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle. And I think most of that came because I dealt huge amounts of damage to that OI, uh, which obviously was one of their juicy uh, targets on the enemy team. So, uh, win 8 was 5504, which is Super Unicum standard. Let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Well, there you go. 1,954 hit points of damage. Puts me at the top of the table there. The high score on the enemy team is T3485 with 1,184. And then came their P43 biz with 1,105. The high score, next high score on my team was the AMX ELC. He managed to get 978, but he didn't survive the battle. I managed to get three kills. And so did the S35CA. He also got three. He also killed an AFK tank. Um, and then the next high scorers, they've got two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, it was 877. I'm top of the table yet again. Um, the next high scorer was the M4A3 EC2 Super Jumbo. He managed to get 665 hit points and he picked up a steel wall, whilst the AMX ELC managed 612 experience points. So let's have a look and see what the uh, detail report looks like. I fired 19 rounds during that battle. I got 9 direct hits, 9 penetration and 2 splash. Damage of 1,954 hit points, of which 1,706 were at more than 300 meters. So there was a bit of close range action on there. Uh, so that was on the uh, Panzer T25 uh, that was attacking our guys on the hill. Uh, I also damaged seven of the enemy, killed three of them, and did damage assistance of 34 hit points. On a premium count, I earned 45,515 credits, and the ammo is really cheap, and I actually spent only 2,432 credits on that. So I took away 43,083 credits altogether. I picked up one bond for getting the high caliber, and I also got 1,315 XP times two for the first victory, 526 for it being a premium vehicle, and 657 because I had a 50% on reserves. Uh, so I took away 3,814 experience points altogether. Um, so pretty good battle actually, and a very fast one. It actually only lasted five minutes, six seconds. But you can see that uh, the Fifi, or 105 Lef H18B2, which is quite a long way of saying it, or Lefi as some people call it, or leaf blower is actually an incredibly efficient arty and i know a lot of you are about to get your first leppy from the christmas boxes the loot boxes which wargaming have put out and thankfully we heard today that one of the north american arty players one of our members has finally got their leppy so they are going to be really enjoying this tank uh, in the near in the near future uh, because it's an absolutely fantastic RT. it really is it's got a massively fast reload speed and it can dial in as fast as it can fire so uh, if you pin a tank down and you manage to track him you can peck him to death with that 105 millimeter gun and i hope you enjoyed this replay if you did please give a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that i'll be featuring in the next video